Is the following function a power function, polynomial function, both, or neither? All right, so first thing is, why don't we kind of have a, get an understanding of what a power function is and what a polynomial function is, all right? So here we go. All right, so here's some mathematical notation that looks like complicated, but it's not, it's not that bad, all right? So why don't we take a look at power function here is just some function, f of x, and that must be equal to now some constant or coefficient. When you hear constant or coefficient, you think number. Multiply then by a variable that is raised to some numeric or numbered exponent. Okay, so this is also a number up here. Uh, similarly, a polynomial function now is basically the same thing as a power function, except it can have multiple terms, okay? So that's kind of the best way to do it. I like to use k's in here. I call them k sub 1, k sub 2, but you might find, uh, you know, it, they might use a's or so. I don't know. It just looks confusing. So what I'm trying to do is try to show you the similarities between the polynomial and the power, but also yet the differences as well. So in this particular case, I apologize if you hear my dog going absolutely nuts in the background. It is that time of the day where the mailman comes and the door kind of gets bashed in by the dog. So in any case, uh, if you wouldn't mind donating, that'd be great. I can get a new front door and uh, hopefully save the mailman's life. Now, um, what I want to point out here is that in a polynomial function, it is going to be very, very similar that we have a number or a coefficient, right? A constant in front of our variable. All right. That's a variable. And then it's raised to some power again, some numeric value. Okay. In a polynomial function, like I was mentioning before, you can have one of these terms or you can have two of the terms added together. Now, whenever you see it added, you got to keep in mind that it could be subtracted, right? I mean, it could be either plus or minus. That really doesn't make a difference. Um, and you could have two or you could have three terms. You could have four, whatever. The idea is that a, po a, a power function will always be considered a polynomial function, uh, but it doesn't go vice versa. You can have polynomial functions that cannot be considered power functions. All right, so let's take a look at what's given. If I look at this, all right, the first thing is I notice that, hey, it really doesn't match up to the power function at all. Now, you don't want to just come to a conclusion at that point and say, nope, it's not a power function. What you want to think about is you want to think about, is there any way I can mathematically manipulate this, right, by using algebra to make it into the form, a, a single form with a leading constant in X and a single exponent. And you have to know the rules of algebra. You cannot combine these two terms, right? This is x to the first. You're not allowed to subtract x to the first from, or you're not allowed to subtract, excuse me, x to the fourth, right, from x to the first. They have different exponents. If they would were the same exponent, then you could have done that, okay? So just keep that in mind. We cannot combine these, and therefore now it is impossible to put it or turn it into this power function, all right, where it's just a single term. So it's not a power function. Now let me just erase that. Let me put that in black so it kind of matches a little better. Now the next question is, you know, is this a polynomial function? So I already notice I have two terms, right? I have a term here and then I have a term here, okay? And they're added or subtracted together, so that's fine. I like that. I have a variable. That's great. I have them, I have then some, you know, uh, power, all right, uh, some numeric value. Uh, but I, what I don't see is I don't see any coefficient, right? I don't see any constant in front. But if you don't see any constant in front, you know what you can place in there. You can place a nice little one. And that is actually the k value, right? Oh, the, the k is one. And, and k is allowed to be one here in a polynomial function. It just can't be zero, right? Because if it's zero, then the whole thing just cancels and this would just be zero. And then that's not a polynomial function anymore. It's just zero. Um, so it is a polynomial function indeed. It does match this form. It has a constant, a variable, rates to some power, and then you have something added or subtracted with the same form. You have some constant, some variable, and then some power. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Hope that helps. And if you can, like and subscribe. That would be awesome. We appreciate you very much. Have a great day.